every younger Muslim I know, and by younger I mean like not 30 with like four kids, has had a phase where they've been obsessed with the end of world predictions that Islam tells us about. So if you're not Muslim, basically Islam gives us these prophecies of minor signs and major signs of the day of judgment. A lot of these have been completed already and there was a phase for me and for many people I know where I was obsessed about knowing exactly when these were and trying to predict exactly when it would happen. This, for me, this was in 2018 and it'd be for hours and hours and hours a day because I was in India at my grandparents' house and I had nothing else to do, but it was still an obsession. I mean, bro, I would try to find, I would, I would try to find a Juj and my Juj on Google Maps, bro. I would try to find like the gel on them on Google Maps. It's crazy. The reason this happens is because the human mind, the human brain, doesn't like uncertainty. We don't like to be unsure of what's going to happen. I mean, how many of us would travel long distance without a GPS? I mean, the road signs can technically take you there, but who would do it? It's the same thing with overthinking. Our brains create these realities in our head so that we have some sort of thought and some sort of expectation on what will happen in the future. Every single society in the past and now has predictions about what will happen after death. This is because our mind doesn't like uncertainty. And you know, this habit and phase, it's not a bad thing to kind of want to know what's gonna happen in the future. It's not a bad thing to want to know what's gonna happen in the future, but when it becomes obsessive to the point where you're putting the predictions of your dean and giving more importance to that than your dean itself. And this habit isn't a bad thing. I guess I'd say it's kind of good to know these things because when it does happen, you can recognize it and stay firm on the dean, right? But it can turn into obsession so easily to the point where if we see any sort of correlation, we automatically attribute it with, with this prophecy or that prophecy. A couple of weeks ago, people were literally calling Andrew Tate the Dajjal or the Antichrist. Literally the only, cor the only correlation is the amount of influence he has. That's the only thing that's even remotely similar. I mean, people have all these things like, oh, phones are the Dajjal, this celebrity is the Dajjal, that celebrity is the Dajjal. Like, bro, come on. Obsessions with these predictions can lead to extreme anxiety. And it, these predictions for Islam should scare you to some point. It should instill a little bit of fear into you. But if you put more importance over the predictions of your deen than your actual deen, then there's no point of knowing the predictions. Instead of thinking, oh, when is this going to event happen? When's, when's he going to come? When, when's that thing going to happen? You need to ask yourself, are you prepared for these things? There's a hadith of the Prophet of the um, I don't know the exact number, so you, know, you can look it up, correct me if I'm wrong. But a man comes to the Prophet and says, and asks him, Where, when is the day judgment going to happen? And the Prophet basically, I'm paraphrasing, he says, well, are you prepared for the day judgment? If you have the knowledge of all these events, all these things that's going to happen, and you don't take action on preparing for it, then you might as well have never had the knowledge at all. It could be that this sign comes true tomorrow or this happens tomorrow. And if you haven't been like actually taking action on Dean, then what if it's too late for you to prepare for? I say this in my videos a lot, that knowledge without action and application is useless knowledge. You might as well have never had it. I mean, if you know all these predictions and are not gonna prepare for them, you aren't di any different from someone who doesn't know the predictions. And this applies to aspects of self-improvement knowledge as well. If you're binge watching self-improvement videos without actually applying anything, all you're doing is wasting your time. You might as well have never watched it. Make sure you apply what you learn in this video and I'll see you in the next one.